Ever seen an edit and wondered how this character slides in smoother than you in your XSDM? Well, not to worry about as your boy Colt is here with another tutorial. Well, uh, in about a year. I mean, I swear guys, I'm just trying to be consistent. I swear, I, I, I'll try to be more consistent from now on. Anyways, all jokes aside, let us hop right into the video. Now, as you can see, I have two clips of Aisho Speed and KSI on whom I'm gonna add this character reveal effect to. Now we click on the second clip and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Then I'm gonna right click and go to time, freeze frame. Now I'm gonna drag the freeze frame over the first clip. Make sure you have the first frame of your second clip freezed, otherwise it will not give good results. Then I'm gonna chop off the clip from the transition scene. Then I'm gonna pre-compose the frozen clip. I'm gonna name my pre-com as pop up one You can give any name that you want and you should give a name because if you don't, you're just a weirdo. Next, I'm gonna double click on my pre-com. Then I'm gonna set the resolution to full. Then we are going to go ahead and click on the Roto Brush tool. After clicking on the Roto Brush tool, double click on the Precom to open your clip in the layers panel. Next, just brush over the character that you want to appear as a pop-up. You can zoom into your character by holding on Alt and scrolling up and you can zoom out by scrolling down while pressing down Alt. You can remove any additional portions that you don't want in your edit by also pressing Alt and brushing over that area. This will remove the additional parts. As you can see, I have removed the background from this clip of KSI. Next, let us add the pop-up effect. For that, let me press P on my keyboard and then I'll drag the position keyframe downwards for the character to go below the bar and then towards the end and put 800 as a value if you're using my resolution that is 1440x1600. Next, I'm gonna select both the keyframes and before that, we need to separate the dimensions and then I'm gonna select both the keyframes and press F9 on my keyboard then copy my graph as I have done here after we're done with the graph let us look at the result of our pop-up effect as you can see it is complete but we need to add few more effects to make it look better for that I'll add an adjustment layer using Ctrl Alt plus Y and then chop off a few frames before and after it. Then we are gonna go ahead and add BBC Ripple Dissolve. So this will give that ripple out effect. For that, let's drag the adjustment layer to the middle of the transition. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click it on PCT done. That is percentage done basically. Make sure your playhead is between the transition of the clip and then go to percentage done and set the percentage turn to 20 and click on the clock icon beside the percentage done. Then I'm going to go ahead and drag it to the end of the clip and again we're going to click it at 100. Next I'm going to press U on my keyboard and select both the keyframes and easy is them. Then I'm going to go to the graph editor and you guys can copy my graph for smoother ripple out effect for your edits. Well, this ripple out effect looks a bit too fast for my edit. So I'm going to go ahead and select both the keyframes here. First, let me shorten the adjustment layer and then I'm going to drag it out and select both the keyframes holding down Alt. Drag the keyframes out a bit. This will make the ripple out effect slower. Also, you have to change the color of the ripple effect. But for some reason, it is always pale yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to white. Next, I'm going to give a shake to my edit. This will make it look a bit more engaging and people will also like it. It also makes the edit look a lot better. I have dragged the adjustment layer and I'm just gonna make the ripple effect one frame before the adjustment layer to make sure that the part before my transition does not get a ripple in effect now i'm gonna add the shake to my edit so for that i have to go a few frames before the transition and i'm gonna click on frequency and i'm gonna set it to 13 then i'm gonna go ahead and Click a few frames before and set the amplitude to zero. At the transition, the amplitude is given as one and at the end, I'll again set it to zero. Next, the same old process of selecting the keyframes, easy using them and then going to the graph. If you use your own graph during the shakes, you can use that. But if you don't 
want to experiment you can copy my graph as i have done here now we are done with the graph now let's look at the final results of our editing for the character reveal effect as you can see there is a ripple out effect and a shake well that's gonna do it for the tutorial guys make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and also you can check out my fourth wall page where i give away some of the packs for free you can also follow me on my instagram and you can also dm me just know whether you follow me on instagram or subscribe me on youtube i really appreciate your love and support and until next time peace